Okay, in this video I would like to show you the iButton interface and how to make an electronic lock out of it. Uh, so iButton interface is a small module uh, like this. It connects to the power supply, to solenoid lock, and to the um, uh, iButton receiver. Uh, also to the buzzer. Uh, the iButton keys are inexpensive keys. They are unique. They have unique 64-bit electronic codes. Uh, and like I said, it's very cheap. So you can have uh, you can buy a number of them. Uh, so the way you create a lock, we we are going to program the master key first, and then the master key is going to be used to add multiple keys to the lock. The lock would uh, uh, keep track of 20 different keys, and you'll be able to add or remove the keys. So first of all, we are going to touch the. Well, I can only find it over here. Uh, we're going to use the the red key set, setting up it as, as a master key, but you can use any other keys. So the first time you uh, apply the key, the device learns the first first key and set it sets it as the master key. Uh, so this key is going to be used to add other keys. Touch it one more time, you hear the melody. It means you in the programming mode. So we're going to touch the black key. It beep once, it means it added to the, uh, the key is added to the lock. Touch it again, it beeps twice, it means it removed the key from the lock. Touch it again, it adds a key, adds a key, and to end the programming, we are using the master key. And now those two keys are going to work. It activates the locks for the lock for two seconds. And those two keys won't work. If you lost your master key, you can reset the module completely. Then you'll need to re-add all your keys. In the manual, you'll find that uh, this lock has uh, three different modes. The first mode is just a standard timeout mode. When you apply the key, it activates the output for a period of time. And you can change it. Uh, uh, it's By default, it's set, it's set to two seconds. You can change it to two hours or days. The second uh, mode is the timeout enhance mode. This is where you can uh, not only activate the lock or activate the output for a period of time, but you can also deactivate it by applying the same key. So by applying key, it will activate the lock, will stay to whatever the period you set, let's say you set it for half an hour, but you can deactivate the uh, output with your secure key. And the third is uh, basically on off mode. It doesn't have a timeout. The first touch of the key will activate the uh, output and it will stay active until you touch the key. So it basically creates like a secure on and off switch that the only person with the proper key could actually turn on or off the, uh, uh, the, the output that then could control other devices. Uh, so here it is, very simple, uh, very simple to connect. Uh, the buttons one and two are only used to change the modes and change the timing. So if you don't need to do, if you, if you don't need to change the timing, if you just want to create a lock, then you don't even need to connect the uh, buttons. Uh, so here it is. Thank you so much.